seen them all around the city, but I've never seen anything like this. And I don't know, it's just like the most 2020 thing. Invasion of the spotted lantern flies in University City, and it looks like ground zero is this Chipotle at 34th and Lancaster. I didn't even notice that's what they were until I got closer. It's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> It's turned into more of a tourist spot than a restaurant, with gawkers stopping by to point and take photos. I just run from it. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of the bugs are crawling and jumping, forcing Chipotle to close that entrance. Many are scaling the nearby wall as well. So, of course, we went inside and talked to the workers here. They say this has been going on for about a month or so, just piles and piles of these bugs. They say they've tried everything to get rid of them. They've tried to pour bleach on these bugs. They've also had a bug guy come out and spray them. Nothing seems to be working. Not far away at 38th and Market, these flies littered the sidewalk. I saw one just hop on your head. One just ah! God, don't do that. No, 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 I said to run. <laughs> Just the thought of one of these insects in her hair had this woman screaming. Those who live at the corner tell NBC 10 it's a mess. So you've got live bugs, you've got dead bugs. Um, they land on you. <laughs> you know, I was out here for less than two or three minutes and one was on my neck. So it's just we're ready for this season to be over. Lantern flies lay eggs in bunches, 30 to 50 at a time, and they hatch that way, according to Shannon Powers with the state's agriculture department. She says they are concentrated in the areas where someone has taken them, on their cars or belongings. So they may have hatched there, and then they'll be looking for a place to eat, then they'll lay their eggs and then in those masses that look kind of like, you know, gum or putty. So you've been warned. Be on the lookout for these flies on your next visit to University City. Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.